Hey guys! Today we will be painting this cute fox using only a few brushes. Let's get started. For today's tutorial, I will be using my Sublime watercolor pack and feel free to use whatever canvas you like. I'll be using the delicate and dainty canvas. As usual, I've drawn a sketch that you can download and you can insert it like this. So insert a photo. And once you bring it in, you are going to lower the opacity down. And I'm going to make a new layer so that we can start to color. For this tutorial, I've made a free stamp brush that you can download. And I'll just show you guys how it looks like. So that's how it looks like. And let's just try another color. So you can download this brush along with the color palette and the sketch. Now let's just get started with coloring the hat. I'm going to choose this green here and just color over that area. And now we have to erase the excess part. To do that, we go to the selection tool, make sure you're on freehand, and you just draw along the pencil line and select an area that you would like to erase and close it off and then get the eraser, make it big, and then erase. And now I'm going to use this method to erase all of the other excess parts. For smaller areas, I'll be using the eraser. Now that we're done, I'm going to make a new layer so that we can start to color the fox. I'm selecting this light orange and we're going to be using the hard edge round brush for the majority of this tutorial. Okay, that's way too thin. I really love this brush because it creates a hard edge effect, just like real watercolor when it dries. I mention this in almost every tutorial, so I bet some of you are tired of hearing it, but for those of you that are new, it's best to paint within the pencil lines to keep this hard edge effect intact. As you can see, I'm trying my best to not go over the pencil lines. Once you've colored everything, we're going to blend the overlaps using the basic blender. When you blend, try not to blend like this because we will be losing that hard edge effect that we've just created. So it's best to blend with very small motions and very carefully. Now we are going to color the fur and we're going to make a new layer for this. And I'm going to select this almost white-like color and start to color the fur. So just like how we've colored the orange portion, I'm using the hard edge round brush and I'm basically going to color the rest of this fox in the same method, but make sure to make separate layers for all of the different elements. So for example, make a separate layer for the boots and other clothing items. Now that every element is colored, we're going to add some shadows. As you can see here, I've made a new layer for every element or an object, and this makes it a lot easier to add shadows. And now we're going to add a new layer on top of each element like this. And make those layers into a clipping mask. Let's select this layer that is on top of the boots. And I'm going to select this dark reddish brown right here. And we're going to grab the boom number one stamp. We're going to pretend that the light is coming from the left side 
so we can add the shadows on the right side. Simply tap on the right side of the boots as well as the bottom. As you can see, we're adding some depth. If the stamps are not showing up very well, you can try to select a darker color. Let's add some shadows on our fox. So let's select this layer on top. And I'm going to use this orange and tap on the right side. As well as this part right here. And if anything looks too harsh, you can always blend it out. Because this is a cute illustration, we don't really have to be super accurate about these shadows. Um, I'm just trying to do my best to place them on the right side. Of course, it's best to blend out some harsh areas. And basically, this is the method that I will be using for all of the elements here, and I will speed it up for you guys. If you are happy with the shadows that you've just added, we're going to add a new layer and grab a dark brown. And we're going to be using the toothy pencil. And let's just draw in the eyes as well as the nose. For the final step, we're going to be grabbing this baby pink and using this splotch stamp. Tap twice. And now we've just created some cheeks. There you go, we've just colored this cute fox and created a watercolor clip art. The goal of this tutorial was to show you guys how fast and easy it can be to paint little illustrations on Procreate using these layers. And I just hope that you guys found it useful. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching guys. See you in the next one.